Hey everybody, it's Triple J, and welcome back to another episode of Bountiful Bayou here in City Skylines. And we have kind of a blank slate here to work with today. We are going to be working on this farming area. And I'm pretty excited about it. Farming areas can be really, really, really fun to make. Obviously, we're using the Industries DLC to do this. We have a, we have some very leveled off demand, which is very good to see. Still working on building up that population. I think what we might do throughout this episode is come over here and do a, a little gap filling, adding in some, some homes here. Now and again, you know, we don't want to blanket it all at once, but uh, just a little bit of that while we build our farms. And so, yeah, so we're going to have this road that cuts through here. And I think what I've decided is, and the nice thing about making this sort of this curvy road is it does make it feel a little bit more rural, I guess, rather than making it very, very straight. I mean, you could absolutely make this very straight. We could have just brought this straight through and, you know, everything would have been fine. But this kind of forces us to change up how the, the farmland is going to look. I'll show you why right now. So I want to do dirt roads off of this. I think we'll do one little section perhaps right here or perhaps down here. I don't know. We don't have to define that just yet. But what I want to do is build out. And I think that's going to be where I want to go with it in terms of distance away from this road is we're just going to pop in some roads like this that are going to have farms off of them. Like that, and then perhaps Uh, let's see. Back that up a little bit. Let me get rid of that menu. What I might do here is have this go. Sometimes I like to have straight roads that the farms are off of but in this case I kind of feel like maybe we do just a little bit of a turn like that and then this actually can just come straight up like this that almost meets perfectly but what if we did something like this because a lot of times these you know farmland very rural roads like this they don't they don't bend and curve every which way necessarily they are somewhat straighter so what if i just kind of made that as like a 90 and then bring that in bring that up something like that and then we may have to reposition some of these Perhaps they can sort of dot the center of different uh, areas like this. For now, we, we do have enough power, so I'm just going to delete a few of these. While we sort of get this sorted. And again, I think I'll go a little straight. We'll do a little curve. Like so. Straight. Straight like that. Yeah, almost something like that. That's kind of interesting. And it's large enough. It gives us a little bit of space to breathe. Actually, I really like that. Uh, it's a different looking shape. But I think it offers us a lot of flexibility to build out some of this thing. Some of the farms. Now... I'm going to go like this in a couple areas and like that. I 
I even bring that through and that up. Just a little bit more of those quadrants or something. Okay. Great. So let's maybe make a determination on where the, because we need an initial farming building, like a main building. And I guess that could be right off of this. Okay, so congratulations. Strawberry Farm has reached level one. The following buildings have been unlocked. We've unlocked a grain silo, small animal pasture, small crop field, and a small fruit field. So the nice thing about the farming is you do have variations on what you can sort of grow and the aesthetics of it. So animal pastures, we get regular crops like wheat, cotton, corn, things like that. But then we also get these fruit fields which is kind of cool. It actually grows like fruit trees. Okay. And the nice thing too is that these are on this sort of dirt so they connect to the road really nicely versus putting it on a concrete road per se. But yeah, you come off of here and then there is the main building. Now we don't have access to all the buildings yet because we haven't upgraded it. But... We do have access to some of the, the crop fields. So I want to dot these around because ultimately I'm going to want to use the large ones. The large ones look really nice, but we have to have a level five farming area before we can get that. So it's going to have to kind of upgrade on its own. So for now, we're going to pop in. Actually, do I not? Feels like I don't have. Okay. I should have. Planted a little bit more. Now it doesn't look like I'm actually putting it down because there's trees here, but this should still all be. If I click on this now, uh, not that. If I go to here, it shouldn't show that, but it, it doesn't seem to show it. But it, it there should be farmland underneath it. So in terms of the farming versus where we do sort of the production or or we produce you know, the meat products and we, you know, mill the grains and things. Uh, I feel like that could be down here. And then you go out into the farm fields. And this is a very large farming area. So it's possible that we put maybe some homes or something out here. I think that's perfectly acceptable. But for now... I'm going to leave a gap between some of these, but I'm going to put a couple of those down in crop fields. And then perhaps over here on this side, I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. doesn't really matter if it's too big. Yeah, that's nice. And then we can change how the, how the, uh, the appearance of it. So we can make these potatoes, which is a nice green color. The wheat, corn is also very green, and then of course you can also do it as a greenhouse, which is also really nice. So we can kind of maybe have a little block of greenhouse areas. I don't know. You can build it however you want. That's the beauty of this: is the aesthetics can just you know kind of stay the same. So I'm gonna make this area corn. I'm gonna try to keep that all kind of together. So maybe we do some corn crops over here, and then we change it out a little bit later on the other side but then over here i think i'm going to do some fruit tree fields and now that i'm seeing this i almost want to go a little bit further up to there just like another extension yeah okay so let's do some fruit trees arms again i'm gonna put like four there and we'll let's keep all of these the same so let's do and that's gonna need water let's make these all apples because really i mean honestly you could you could make a tiny little area that just has apple trees and you could put some you know some buildings around it you could put a couple commercial buildings you could have it you know be like a little apple orchard and I think that's that's pretty cool. 
In fact... Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm not going to make these apples. These are going to be pears. And again, we can do the greenhouse thing with these as well. Make those pears. Let me make sure that these, this is all watered. Oh, yeah, we don't have any water extension. How are we doing on water? Ooh, we need more of it. Okay. So it's a good thing we kind of had to do this. We're going to run out of it anyway. Those are not straight, so it's going to bother me to no end. So <laughs> we're going to have to make them straight. Wait, is that, is that not straight again? Or is that straight? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, stop clicking. Oh, well, that's definitely, definitely not straight. Right? I can't tell if I'm... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't. Okay. Just averted a disaster right there, right? Because there's no way... About 440. And that will do that. So what I think we want to do over here, and I just thought of this, is what if... We had another little road that went like so. And I actually want to keep that right there. And so that's going to bend automatically, right? The game wants to, to bend that. But if you do, if you have the fine road anarchy... You can do control B and that will turn off bending and then you can make a straight line there where you normally wouldn't be able to. Okay. So then what's going to happen is I'm going to put, I'm going to make that a, another straight right there. And then I am going to, in fact, make this. A little apple orchard. I'm going to put a, just a few of those down because I, I have a feeling I'm going to want to use some of the larger fields in the future. But then we can sort of, you know, if you live in the town over here, just head out a little bit, right? Very little bit into the, quote, countryside, I guess, and go to a little uh, apple orchard. Maybe we can even add a little park here, put a, like a gazebo in or something. This could even be a park. And then this could be just part of the farms, part of the larger kind of conglomerate, I guess, of farms. But I like that. Okay, and then we also have small animal pastures. So we have the fruit fields out there. We have some more farming in here. Let's do some animal farms right here. And let's do, let's do some sheps. And we can also make those all different, but I think we can keep the pastures kind of in the same place. This also unlocks for us the small silos, which is kind of why I was leaving a gap between some of these things. It gives us a way to put the silos down, and that adds a very nice farm look. The silos, will they just operate as storage, essentially, for the crops. And these also operate as crops, but... Uh, However, it's it's not a huge deal. I think putting the silo next to the pastures is aesthetically, very aesthetically pleasing. I guess we could put the barns next to these. That might be more efficient for... Might be more efficient. Okay, that's fair. Let's put some of these over here. There, we'll put one down right in the center of the pairs. Then we won't have to have all these trucks driving around. So that's what we're going to do for now until we can maybe upgrade some of this. So what do we need to do to get to the next level? We need to produce 500 resources, which we should easily be able to get. And then we only need about seven more workers. And then we'll hit the next level and we'll unlock more buildings. With that in there, I'm going to start deleting little bits of our industrial and see what that does. But let's go back over here while we wait. Again, I think I'm going to put a little bit of high density there. Maybe a couple more shops and then some lower density. 
I may make this a park, actually. So let's do that. Because there's a lot of intersections right here, it might get a little crowded later on. Especially considering we have these gaps here and a four-way intersection. I think it would be best served to make this a proper a park so we're not having some zoning up against it. Okay, so we'll need a main gate. Just a little city park. Oh, I need to actually finish off the district, not just draw around. Oh, oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Umber Meadows. Sure. So the parks. We'll make a small main gate that goes... Right about there, I will try and center it a little bit more. I'll do another side gate right there. Okay, I'm going to try to center it. And then what I'm going to do is try to... That, sort of line it up alongside this. Now, it's not going to be a huge park. Just a little bit like that. And I'm going to plop something right in the corner here. Not that, though. The asset I really love to use is this fantastic fountain. Although, I'm considering... We can start putting some of these unique buildings down. But what building is the question? These are all so big. How big is this fountain? Oh, it does take, it takes up so much space, but this could also just be like the main part of this park. I'm going to turn off the uh, collision so it doesn't delete my... It's just such a nice asset. The trees are away from the center. You can kind of manipulate it how you want. I can pull this all the way over like this. It's just a really, really nice asset. Okay, and then over here, we can maybe bridge this with, or heck, we can even just you know, do a little of that. Because so I think I'm going to fence around this like I did in the other area. We'll put... Okay, there we go. The farm has leached level 2 already. So, area bonuses. We get a plus 4 efficiency and our pollution is dropped by 10%. We also unlocked a flour mill, a bakery, which is part of the unique factories, farm workers barracks, cattle shed, and a small barn. Nice. So we haven't unlocked any larger fields yet, but that's not a problem. Put in a little bit of this. Yeah. And we'll head over there in a sec. But I want to just get this fenced like so pull that down just a little bit so it's a little more straight I'm actually going to fence like this I think Is that dumb? It might be dumb. Almost separating the two of them. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of didn't have a... kind of don't have a 
plan to go in there. I could switch these two around. Should I work better anyway? And then we can get that then we can get that in there. You know, we're just we're just playing. We're seeing what works, what feels good. Then this is almost like separate from the park itself, but it kind of feels like it's all in one. And then you have this crazy guy who ruins everything. Come on, Carol. Carol. <sighs> but you know what? Sometimes you just can't stop the Carols of the world. It's fine. Okay, cool. And then, I mean, this is just, it's pretty, pretty minimal. But I think it looks quite nice. And we just pop in a few trees. Like so. That house is on fire, but we're just going to ignore it because it's fine, I'm sure. I hear a fire. Firemen are on their way. Okay, put a couple other kinds of trees in. Maybe we even use some of the cherry or these uh, these apple tree assets. A little, you know, a little walkway area like that. Get some of these. Sugar maple trees. Is that what these are called? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Now we have a little park in there now. It's a great way to use... Because what ultimately ends up happening is when you start to work with, you know, maybe curves or slanted roads, you're going to ultimately probably end up with something that looks like a triangle. And the nice thing about it is that you can sort of use those triangle pieces to create just nice aesthetic looking parks. Okay, so over here, now that we have a couple more options here i'm gonna put this barn because the barn i yes oh that also only holds crops okay well you know what the barn makes a lot of sense to put next to these pastures so we're gonna do a little bit of that even though they're holding crops and not the animal products but that's okay What else do we have? So the flour mill. So essentially this turns crops into flour. We can also export. That I imagine is going to go over here somewhere. Maybe we just pop one of those down and kind of see how that goes. This does have the concrete next to it. However, I do have the surface painter mod, which I can kind of use to like paint back some of this i know we have those parking lots but we can almost i don't know feels like it's a little bit more connected to it there and then i envision we maybe place a couple trees and some bushes and stuff along here just to kind of hide that line yeah the flour mill can start to generate some stuff there what is this saying not enough natural resources. Okay, interesting. So this is not... Huh. Okay, so what I need to do... Let's get rid of some of these trees. And then... Lay down... Yeah, it didn't actually count that. That's fascinating. So you can't have the farming and the forestry at the same time. Okay. Well, it 
you know, it's not going to hurt us to put a little bit of this down. That is a little strange of a behavior there. But, you know, no matter. We can always add trees in later, I think. It, it, it might be a layering issue. It might be that you have to place down the the farming first. And then if you put trees over it, you know, it just doesn't change that later. But yeah, what does it take now to get us to our next level? I'm just curious. So we need 1,500 uh, produce resource units. Uh, easy peasy. We're on our way there. And then we need 370 workers with 299 right now. I don't want to just see if that's going to change anytime soon. I'm not certain that it will. But again, we've added a couple more things down. We could put down some more pastures, but I'm just going to kind of kill that off. I'm going to shift this over to here, and then we're going to gut that road out. Little bits. Just little bits at a time. May want a couple more crop yields. So let's make a couple more of those over here. And then we'll change these to be... Because this is corn, yeah? Okay, so let's make these potatoes. Those potatoes. Then we will also add down a couple more of these silos. That should get us there, because these take 20 each, and then I think, what do these take? 15, yeah. So we should be able to hit that worker threshold very soon. But still, you know, massive, massive demand for more things, so let's just... You know, I'm kind of thinking this just maybe becomes a little commercial on that side and then there's just remaining housing over here and then i might bring a path through here i know we're jumping around a lot but because this is that dog park i'm gonna bring, bring a path through there and that doesn't let's see there that house is probably gonna go yep and maybe we can get a full four in there, so I'll, I'll got that house. But then we can get a little path back in here. Sort of connect these guys up. Like so. And then this can sort of be treed up. Uh, at some point, I don't actually have... I need to... Yeah, all I have are the Darien City, which is our, our tw current Twitch build. Yeah, I'll have to add a brush for that. That's something I'll probably end up doing off stream. I should probably make a note of that. But yeah, let's since we have this park here, let's also kind of make this sort of an open area, right? Because we're kind of overlooking things highway so let's just bring in a couple paths there this is an awkward angle anyway so what if we just sort of danced and played around a little bit there you know you can make this as weird as you want but sort of just creating another little park area that a little bit of commercial along there and the rest can just sort of be park probably end up lining this with either like a fence and a row of trees or something but yeah so many things to do but my friends 
that is going to do it for this episode. Doesn't look like a whole lot yet. This is a pretty massive area. We started to peel back a little bit of the industrial over here to make way for this, you know, a giant area on this side. But I think this is going to be good. It's slowly going to start to come together. Let's start upgrading the farms and things. But everybody, that is going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Bountiful Bayou here in Say Skylines. Bye, everybody.